really, really want it for my space. <laughs> Good morning everyone, it is the move-in day, so exciting. I'm gonna do a little overview of what's about to happen today. So you guys have something to look forward to and a little timeline in case you're impatient, you just gotta see everything fast forwarded. It's fine, I get it. I recruited two strong boys to help me because I actually do have a lot of things and I own a small car so it's going to be really hard for me to try to move everything in my car and some things I can't even carry in my car so I found two boys who were also planning to move around the same time as me we arranged a day where we all plan to move and we just rented out a U-Haul truck so that we can all help each other move and use that one truck to move into our places so that's what's happening today. The plan right now is to move me first. So we're gonna load the truck with all of my things. And I also have to go pick up some things around because I just didn't have a home for a month. So I have them dropped off at various places. So I have to go pick them back up. Um, and then we're gonna drop it off at my place and then we're gonna get to moving the boys. But this is funny because this man one of the one of the boys did not I we can't locate him right now. I would be irritated or like worried because like it makes a big difference when one of the men is missing. If I was missing, honestly I feel like it wouldn't matter that much because I don't contribute that much power. But it's fun for the plot, I guess. I hope he shows up out of nowhere. But that's the plan so far. I already started my move-in process honestly a little bit because my official move-in day is a Sunday but I've been going in, I picked up my keys on Friday and I've been going in since Friday to like wipe the floors, vacuum, clean like the cabinets and stuff and yesterday I moved a lot of my clothes and a lot of the things that were easier to move I just picked up my keys, my parking pass and everything I came into my apartment just to do a little walk-in to look around to see if I need to buy anything to clean a particular area of the home brought my iPad because I forgot that there's a feature on here where you can use the camera to measure things and I think that'll be helpful for me to get a idea of how big my walls are and everything so that I can start planning accordingly in terms of furnishing my place. But before that, we obviously have to do an empty apartment tour. I love watching these. I've watched so many move-in vlogs in my life that I can't believe I get to do this now, but here's my time to shine. I am going to show you guys my empty apartment and I've already shown you guys this exact unit in my apartment tour, so if you guessed it right, you know me so well. We're gonna start right at the door. We walk in and immediately you're going to face my living room space. It is very bright in here, which I absolutely love. It's something that I really, really wanted for my space. So I love that with the huge windows. But immediately to my right, we have a little kitchen bar. It is a pretty like inconvenient kitchen layout in my opinion but for the size of the space I think it is a decent sized kitchen with a lot of cabinet space and obviously like I have all the appliances I need like dishwasher, oven, microwave, fridge like I don't need to buy any of that which is nice We have the fridge I'm kind of... <laughs> I really wanted a two-door fridge I know that sounds like so luxurious and like a niche obsession with the fridge but i'm gonna have to be happy with this one it is pretty clean in here i don't think i need to do extra cleaning maybe like a little wipe on top of these shelves but it looks pretty spotless what is this like one this is my only complaint i think technically i can replace all of these like keep all of these for when i move out again but i can take them out and put in like new ones because this is like Every time I touch it, I'm gonna get like a flake of this brass stuff on my hand. I don't want that, especially when I'm cooking. We have an in-unit washer and dryer. It's two-in-one. I've never had a two-in-one before, so I hope it works well. They do a valet trash service where I can just leave this outside of my door and they take it out for me, so that's amazing. 
One thing I've noticed though is there's no overhead light in here except for this one. To the left, we have a bathroom. This is my den space. I don't know how I'm gonna decorate it yet. It looks like this with the closet. I'm gonna have to put something here to cover this thing up. I do have art that might cover that. Here's the bedroom. It's pretty small. U-Haul truck. Someone's driving it right now. And we located the missing man. So we're all good. We're just getting coffee first because we haven't consumed anything. And we need something for energy before we get to all the labor. We're heading to document right now, which is one of my favorites. I believe most of my things are loaded up into the truck now. This is such a labor, especially in late July. It is so hot. It's like 90 degrees outside and we're just doing all this labor. And we haven't eaten. We're such- you can tell we're like babies who have never moved before because if my mom and my dad were here, they would be ready to fight the battle with all the food ready so we're like full and energized we didn't even have like our tape and like boxing stuff ready so we had to buy it at u-haul it was such an l but i feel so bad because boys are doing all the lifting and all the carrying and all the moving so i am gonna go pick up some food for us i just placed an order on doordash to pick it up so I'm gonna feed them well, make sure they're happy <laughs> so they don't complain for the rest of the day and that we don't fight during this move because everyone's so like sensitive because we're all so sweaty and tired already huh, It looked way bigger in the picture I got scammed We have a timer on the show It's 3, right? Yeah 2.30 2.40 and I'm not actually down yeah. No, I need you at least because we gotta unload the desk in the bed out truck. Estimate moving. There's a reason why a whole career exists of helping people move because it is intense and I never thought I mean honestly we're doing okay. We're doing perfectly fine. I think we're doing a great job moving everything. It's just that the truck that we rented from U-Haul, we rented it from 9 a.m. to 2 30 p.m. And we thought there'll be plenty of time to move everyone. And it's basically two houses because my place and then the boys are moving in together, like they're roomies. So it's just two places that we're moving to. And it is currently 3.45, so we didn't make it. I think one house took like three to four hours. We tried to extend our truck time, but they can only extend two more hours until 4.30. We only have one more hour with the truck and we just finished loading up all the boys stuff. So we still have to drive to their new house and unload everything. If you're an OG, you know Chemin, my best friend. She sent me a large thing of iced chai croissant and then an oat milk latte right to my door 
for my move-in day and I thought that was just so sweet because I definitely need this extra energy today and she surprised me because I was totally not expecting that and this is a really good ice chai too This is about to be the best shower of my life. I was talking with my sister about like, what do I put in my move-in vlog? And she was like, you literally just film everything up to opening the first box. And I was like, why would anyone do that? That is so anticlimactic. But here I am doing that because the day was just so long. Like, I don't have time to unbox the box. I don't know if I have the right words to describe how I was feeling last night, but to put it in the simplest form, I think I was just overwhelmed because I've been looking forward to this moving day for so long not just like after I signed the application and knew that I was getting the apartment but just for the past few years I've always looked forward to having my own place when a day that you've been looking forward to finally happens and I think you guys can all relate to this type of feeling where it's just like what now? now that it happened like my move-in day was coming to an end and I moved all of my stuff in but then I realized that this was just the beginning because I still had probably days ahead of me of just cleaning and organizing and finally having the space to myself so that was just quickly overwhelming me especially because I have a I have to go into my modeling agency today I talked a lot about this last video but I recently got signed to a modeling agency and today is like my first real day at the place like I'm taking my photos that will be sent out to a lot of different people and brands and companies so I do have to get ready so I can leave for that very very soon but I set up my camera and a tripod because I want to do some unboxing with you guys I was super lucky to have some brands send me PR packages for my new apartment and one of the brands was Our Place which they make really really cute cooking supplies and kitchenware I already know what's in here I was so curious that I opened everything but I got them in a box for you guys so I can unbox it on camera but these three things are knives we have a small i feel like i shouldn't be opening it or i'm gonna get like demonetized or something but they're knives with this like mauve purple color and i love our place because i noticed that every box or every item comes with like a instruction card also comes with this nature sponge this is the serrated slicing knife. They have these beautiful cups. This is another thing we get to open together because I got this at Target a few days ago because I saw that it was on sale and it was like the perfect amount of things that I needed. I just got back. This was what I was wearing today. Skinny jeans. Who knew I would wear skinny jeans again? But I, I don't hate it for some reason. I stopped by Target to get more necessities for the home. And I think I'm gonna finish off today's vlog by showing you guys what I got. And then starting next vlog, you will see more improvements in the apartment in terms of organization and decorating everything but let me quickly go through everything because i did get a lot of things this time first i got a new quilt comforter it's uh it's a type where you don't need to get a comforter like duvet cover like this just stands on its own you just put it on your bed because i have a bedding that's for twin size like the dorm beds and it works but it's just not big enough for my full size bed so got this from Target. I have to wash it before I put it on my bed. Ice cube tray, flatware set from Target as well because I haven't been able to eat like real food. There's 
salad forks, dinner forks, dinner knives, dinner spoons, teaspoons. I got two of these mats for the bathroom. One by the bathtub and one by the sink. I got white and green. This cabinet organizer for the kitchen. Mr. Clean. Have fish soap. I had to get a new shower liner. I already got one, but I got like the cheapest one from Target last time and it ended up being too short. I never knew that could be a problem, um, but I found this one. It's an inch longer. I don't know if that's gonna make a difference, but it is also like heavier materials. So maybe it'll work better. But I was taking my shower last night and the shower curtain was just going crazy because it, was, it wasn't sticking to the tub. So hopefully this works. Napkin. I got bread and tomato so I can make sandwiches and I have other ingredients in my fridge my laundry detergent and then this is gonna be my trash can for the bathroom and lastly I got this little bin because I'm thinking I'm gonna roll up my towel and leave it on top of the toilet as like a little towel storage thank you guys so much for being here with me and watching me move I'm so excited to make some progress in this apartment and show it all to you guys you guys are having a great day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!